Greetings. Welcome back. Welcome to week six of AP Psychology e-learning. Um, this is the sixth and final week that I will be uh, collecting work and grading it for you. Um, next week, the week after this one, begins the AP exams. Um, and many of you will be taking exams next week. The AP Psychology exam, hopefully you know, is Tuesday, May 19th at 2 p.m. Also, if you haven't already done so, please watch the video that I posted last week. Um, it was uh, put out by the College Board. It's a very good, um, simple, but yet fairly detailed explanation of how to get ready for the AP exams. Um, this week, we are going to do two graded FRQs. Um, you have completed all of your weekly unit reviews. You should have five weekly unit reviews. Each one had two major topics on it. Um, those unit reviews, right, they were each about two or three pages long, depending on how you printed them. Those would be good resources to have beside you when you're taking the exam. I would definitely put them in a neat little stack, one, two, three, four, five, label them with the main topics, highlight the main topics. Um, also next week, I will be posting for you to print out alphabetized uh, vocab lists and alphabetized lists of uh, major contributors, names of psychologists, that are alphabetized so that you can quickly look them up. Because remember, you can use uh, your notes, et cetera, on, these, um, on the FRQ this year. The only catch is if you spend a lot of time looking for stuff, you're gonna run out of time to write stuff. And obviously, if they're allowing you to use open notes, they're not so much interested in you defining the terms, but rather applying the terms. And I have great confidence that you guys will be able to do it. We're gonna practice two more times this week. The first one is already um, posted for you and it will be unlocked Monday morning at 8 a.m. and it will lock Tuesday afternoon at 4.15 p.m. Uh, the name of the question is units two, three, four, seven, FRQ, concept application. This is written for you. Uh, next to the link for this video on your EDSBY uh, page. And so you have from Monday morning, 8 a.m. till Tuesday afternoon, 4 p.m. A second FRQ that will be graded will be uh, posted for you as well. That one will go live Tuesday morning and you'll have from Tuesday morning, 8 a.m. all the way until Wednesday afternoon at 4.15 p.m. The deadline for resubmitting the first FRQ will be Thursday instead of Friday this week. And the deadline for resubmitting the second FRQ will be Friday. So once again, um, you have two FRQs. One of them is due Tuesday at 4.15. The other one is due Wednesday at 4.15. The corrections for the first FRQ, the one that's due Tuesday, are due Thursday by 415 and the corrections for the second FRQ the one that's due Wednesday those corrections will be due Friday by 415 so um, if you do them and turn them in and get them uh, corrected on time you'll get perfect score on both of them and more importantly you'll get some good practice um, these this these two that I'm choosing this week are a little on the tougher side uh, to force you to do some, some scrambling, some guessing, some thinking. I've also put a 25 minute time limit on each of them, right? Um, my strong hunch is that the um, FRQ that you take on Tuesday, May 19th, the uh, AP Psychology FRQ is gonna be about twice the length of any one of these that I've been posting for you. And so um, you're only gonna have 45 minutes to do that. So I'm giving you 25 minutes to do each of these. 
try your best to stay within that time frame. Okay? So do your very best. I'll continue to post information next week. I just won't be requiring you to uh, turn anything in. I'll be giving you some resources that you can use. Um, if you have any extra time next week that you're not taking uh, AP exams, for those of you that aren't taking any AP exams, I would practice, 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 practice. Go to your My AP page. There's plenty of practice quizzes, practice tests that you can take. Um, it wouldn't even hurt, even though there's no multiple choice on the AP exam, it wouldn't hurt to take some of the practice multiple choice just to refresh your memory to get a lot of the terms uh, refreshed in your mind. Okay, I hope you're staying safe and healthy, and I hope that you have a wonderful week. We're getting close. We're getting close. We can do this. Peace.